In the previous video, we learned the basics of PWM, which stands for Pulse Width Modulation. We learned that by using PWM, we can generate an artificial analog signal by varying the width of digital signal. In this video, we will explore another example application of PWM, which is controlling the angle of rotation of servo motor using MicroPython. Without further ado, let's get started. I have here an SG90 micro servo motor. I hook up it directly to ESP32 development board on GPIO 23. Of course, it is advisable to use external power supply while using motors in microcontrollers. But since I am just using a small servo motor, I believe it's okay and be able to supply the necessary current needed. Let's see the SG90 datasheet. It's a one-page datasheet, not much information, but what we need is this waveform diagram here at the bottom side. In here, it is stated that we need a pulse every 20 milliseconds. So that is the PWM period. So that is equivalent to 50 hertz. And we need a duty cycle of around 1 milliseconds to 2 milliseconds. Let's create our base program. Let's use a Tony Python. Since we are going to use a GPIO and a PWM, let's import the machine module by import machine. Let's create another object. Let's name it P23, which is equal to machine that pin to GPIO 23 and set the pin direction as output. Let's create another object. Let's name it PWM and let's use this function machine that PWM and let's use the P23 object. Now we have attached the PWM driver to GPIO 23. That is the reason why the servo is now turning. Let's query the PWM value. So as of now, the PWM object is connected to GPIO 23 with a frequency of 5 kHz and a duty value of 512 or a duty cycle of 50%. Let's turn off the pulse by sending PWM that duty and let's give it a duty value of 0. Now we can initialize our PWM object with its frequency and duty value. But before that, let's understand first the basics. According to the datasheet of SG90, we need a pulse that, that is active for 1 milliseconds to 2 milliseconds for every 20 milliseconds pulse. From that information, we can derive the PWM frequency and PWM duty value. To get the PWM frequency, we can use the following formula that is frequency is equal to 1 over the period. So if we have if we have a 1 over 20 milliseconds, we can arrive to a frequency of 50 hertz. To get the PWM duty cycle, we have a given active state of its pulse. Let's take the 1 millisecond, that is 1 milliseconds, divided by 20 milliseconds, that is equal to 0. 0 0.5 which is also equal to 5% duty cycle. Let's take the 2 milliseconds divided by 20 milliseconds and that is 0 0.1 and that is equivalent to 10% duty cycle. 
And to get the PWM value, which is a value we can input to the PWM dot duty, we have 0 0.05 times 1024, that is the maximum duty value we can input to the PWM dot duty, which is equal to 1.2. Another one is 0 0.10 times 1024, and that is equal to 102.4. I already tested these duty values, but it gives inaccurate results. What works for me are a duty value of 20 to 120. Or a duty cycle of 2% to 12%. These values should serve as the calibrated PWM values specifically for this servo motor. If you try to use a duty value of 20 to 120 and you get different results, you could try to experiment by adjusting little by little until you get the desired results. Now, let's set the PWM frequency. Let's set the frequency, PWM dot frequency of 50 hertz. Let's send a PWM duty value of PWM that duty value of 20 and that is equal to 0 degrees angle of the servo motor while PWM duty of 120 will result to 180 angle a PWM dot duty of 70 will result to 90 degrees. It is not easy for us to easily input angle of rotation we want for the servo motor. There is a useful function in Arduino and that is a map function which have a syntax of map this is the value, the number to map, from low, this is the lower, this is the higher bound of the input value, and to low is the lower bound of the values target range, while to high is the upper bound of the values target range. There is also a map function available in MicroPython but it works completely different. What I found in some forums is this function, which works exactly the same as the map function of the Arduino. Let's use the function define map or def map. And now we can use the map function to input the PWM duty. PWM that duty and let's use the map and that is let's say we want to put the angle of rotation of the servo motor to 0 degrees and the range of the angle is 0 to 180 with an, with an output value or PWM duty values of 20 to 120s. Let's input this one and it should rotate the servo motor to 0 degrees. Okay, it works. How about if we want to rotate our servo motor from 0 degrees to 180 degrees? little by little. So, let's use a for loop, for loop, for i in range of 0 to 180. Let's increment it by 10. 
and let's copy this one and use it but this one we write i let's enter oh we need to also import a time import time so that we can have some delay so let's call it again then time that is sleep let's say for 500 milliseconds let's send it and as you can see our servo motor is rotating in 10 degrees increment from 0 to 180 oh and sorry we need to use 181 in range to include the 180 so let's try again 181 let's send so that it will include the 180 degrees okay how about if we want to rotate our servo motor from 180 degrees to zero that is almost the same for i in range from 180 to negative one because <clears throat> it will not include the zero if we use zero here so 180 to negative 1 in increment of 10 let's send this one we need to decrement okay and as you can see our servo motor is rotating clockwise from 180 degrees to 0 how about we create a function let's call it servo and let's input a pin as an argument and also an angle we want to use this function or function call but instead of using pwm let's use pin that duty and the angle is the value here let's send this one so if we want to set the servo let's say pwm that is our object to 90 okay how about 180 how about the middle? 270 degrees. Oh, it's wrong. Because it's more than. Let's... Uh, 30 or 60 or 45. 45 maybe. 45 degrees. 45 plus 90, that is 135. okay okay that's all for now if you have any question regarding this tutorial you may write your inquiry in the comment box provided and if you enjoyed this video please give me thumbs up by clicking the like button and share this to your friends so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this and if you are not yet subscribed, please do subscribe now. You might also like to visit my blog post at techtotinker.blogspot.com for more details and references such as circuit diagram and source code. Thank you and have a good days ahead. See you in the next video. Bye!